Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. Uh, this video is inspired by, well, I say inspired, it's actually kind of a copy of another YouTube video uh, by Peter VK3YE. Um, you should really check out his channel. He's got such a great channel. He works the world on QRP. He does all sorts of weird and wonderful experiments and makes all sorts of weird and wonderful radio uh, devices. And yeah, he's just really, really got a, a, an amazing channel. And he actually released this video with this idea quite a while ago, and I've been meaning to do it. And a friend of mine visited the other day and gave me a new soldering iron. That was James, James Fletcher, another good channel. Um, he brought me a soldering iron because uh, mine was sort of on the blink, so he bought me one that was, well, it was actually brand new. He'd never even used it, so thanks, James. And it just inspired me to get the soldering iron out tonight and just do a bit of tinkering and uh, sort of, make this little device that Peter made. So it's VK3YE's range tester and it starts its life as one of these cheap Bofeng speaker mics. Now you can get these off eBay for like three pounds, they're so cheap, they actually work okay. Um, there's another variation of this where the microphone element isn't quite behind the hole there and you get muffled audio but with these the microphone element is right behind that hole there so these have quite good audio, it's uh, not bad at all. And what Peter did was actually modified one using a couple of resistors and a couple of capacitors and um, he came up with this. Now you'll have to excuse my soldering skills, they're not, um, they're not the best but we'll get by. Um, now this is basically the build itself. Now if you want to see a proper build video on this then you can check out Peter's video, I'll put a link in the description. But basically what we've got is a 1K resistor which is soldered between M plus and M minus on the board there of the microphone. We've then got a 47K resistor which is soldered onto M minus and it is then soldered onto the leg of this 100 nanofarad capacitor and the return leg of that capacitor then goes to SP plus on the microphone and that is basically it. Um, I put a couple of close up, more close up shots there so you can see. Now this is sort of in test at the moment so I've, what I'm going to do is it, when it, well I know it all works, I've just tested it but basically I'm going to shorten all these legs and well I'll probably actually start again on this one. Shorten all these legs here, um, insulate all this and then close the microphone up because the microphone will still work as normal, I've, I've tested it. Um, so yeah, it's just those three really cheap components. The build for this cost me like about £3.50, that's with the components in the microphone. And um, yeah, once you've got all the components soldered in place, and as I said, Peter's video shows you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do then is plug the microphone into your radio. And when you switch it on, you want to change two settings. First one, set the timeout timer to 15 seconds just in case there's any feedback and secondly set your vox to one or two just have a play around with that and you'll find which is the um, the most suitable setting if we switch the radio on and then using this radio I'm just going to call the word test 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 You can see that when I was transmitting through this radio, the Bofeng was actually receiving the audio and this modification on the microphone caused the radio to actually key back up. So it's handy for going around actually range testing and coverage testing so you can see how well something like a handheld is, is going to get in your local area. It's just I just thought it was a great idea by Peter and I just wanted to sort of do it on my own channel and share it. So Peter, I hope you don't mind. I'm not copying you. I just want to share the great idea that you'd had. So we'll just do it again. Test. Test. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Just a short video there, um, just to share Peter's great idea, and I hope it inspires you to build one as well. I definitely think it's a handy little device for range testing and coverage testing in the local area. So, yeah, I'm glad I built it. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that one, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you check out Peter's channel, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. 7-3 for now. Cheers.